Bye bye Thanksgiving. <laughs> bye bye Thanksgiving. It's time for Christmas. Christmas! Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We are up early today doing some food work. Gonna cook a big turkey or a small turkey. Uh, Daniel is still sleeping and it's a happy kind of feeling this morning. I'm just needing to wake up. Ah! Here's your balloons again. Happy Thanksgiving Daniel's Thanksgiving Day. Yep. Turkey's in the oven. I'm gonna put something on your TV, okay? And then I'm gonna get you up in five minutes or so. Oh boy. Look at this beautiful appetizer spread for Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Daniel, say happy Thanksgiving. We want you to say happy Thanksgiving to our friends. Oh, he's looking at all the birdies outside. Yeah, they're all having their Thanksgiving bird seed. Well, mommy put the good stuff out. It's the premium blend. I was hoping the Cardinals would come today, but I haven't seen them today. It's a little chilly in the house, but it's okay. Yeah. Here's Sarah. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. This looks so nice, Sarah. Yeah. Let's see Finley. Finley's on the cam. Finley, I think he's in the corner. Oh no, there he is. There he is. Finley. Finley. Finley doggy cam. Finley doggy cam. Then they couldn't come because he's too big for the plane. Mm -hmm. We'll get him. Mm -hmm. Get him. Hi, Finley. He's a tickle for a My happy boy. On the menu, the turkey to your mother. Yeah. Turkey and carrots and sweet potatoes and mac and cheese and mashed potatoes and green beans and cranberry stuffing no, and gravy and all the stuff. That's right, honey. Thank you. Yummy, yummy, in my tummy. And happy being Philly. Watching TV. Happy Thanksgiving. Taking a nap. All right. Bye bye Thanksgiving. <laughs> bye bye Thanksgiving. It's time for Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> We're done. We're done. Liar. We're so full and gluttonous. Not anymore. Oh, see you know. Oh. <laughs> My in-laws were here. John, you have to drive them back home, and we're just. Relaxing. I think Thomas went to sleep. I'm not sure. Dale's sleeping, sort of. Are you sleeping? <laughs> he had a good day. He was up for a long time today, visiting with everybody. It was nice. Oof. I haven't eaten that much in like a long time. Like sometimes I eat junk food or a little bad, but when you eat that much food, Oh, it's wrong. Why do we do that to ourselves? Why do we eat so much on Thanksgiving and then we feel so like... <laughs> I keep moving around because I'm just like... <sighs> Anyways, it's okay. <laughs> it was delicious. Sarah did a lot of work this morning on all the sides and I appreciate that. And everybody helped with everything. And it was only us and my in-laws, my John's parents. My dad's coming over Saturday to visit. 
We kept it small this year, which was nice. But it was still a lot of work. I'm telling you, I just wanted to go out to dinner. That was my preference. I wouldn't be this tired. Okay, night night, it's time. That's all I have to say. We all had a nice day, and I'm going to bed because I'm really exhausted from all the Thanksgiving. -ing. Huh? Time to get some rest? Yeah. We just watched Elf. Finished Elf. Elf was fun, right? Elf was really fun. Yeah, yeah. up some kind of a fence at this farm up here. Stop. I think they have llamas. Llamas? Maybe. Look over to the right when you go by. Oh yeah, that's a llama or an alpaca. I don't know what the difference Yeah, they got a big chicken coop. They got a big... at the vineyard. Very curious about it. We're going on a vineyard. We're not going on a vineyard, but we are. We're going on a wine tasting event. If I can get out of the car. Okay. Here we are. This is called Aquila's Vineyard. It's like a mile from our house. Huh? And I know where you live. I already know where I live. I don't even know where I live. Renewal. Sarah, look. Look, you should feel like you're at home. They have fake succulents. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Aquila's Nest Vineyard in Sandy Hook. We just finished our first flight. <laughs> with little tasty things, you know, like wheat, wines, with um, complimentary, what do they call it? Oh, snacks. snacks that like complement the wine. So that was nice. So now we're gonna get two more plates, one white, one red. And Sarah's up there, so it's nice here. It's really pretty. They have a little fire in the corner. And it's like a metal building with lots of decorations. Um, they are from Al Albania originally, so very cool aesthetic. And outside, there's all like little tables along the, looking out on the hillside, little fireplaces, which I think I would enjoy that. That would be nice. I don't know that Daddy would really enjoy this that much. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, he wouldn't really like it. Variety. Yeah. Because if I'm getting a yeah. Noir, then I'll, then I'll, I'll, yeah, they were. We drank all of them though, so <laughs> they're all empty. And I had a glass too. You happy? Yeah. Go home. Pop open another How was that? Was that fun? Yeah. This place is nice. Survive Friday. <laughs> Didn't do too much. I did nice things. Uh, Daniel and I were just out in the kitchen. Sarah and I were playing cards. Daniel was hanging out with us, enjoying the night. And since 
Friday I went to a wine tasting earlier that we scheduled to go to this little vineyard here. It was really cute. It's right like a mile from here. And that was a fun thing to do. I went with Sarah and Thomas. John hung out with Dale. And then uh, tomorrow is Saturday. We have Dale's aide coming and my father's coming for a visit. So we're gonna see Grandpa yeah, tomorrow and Ellen. And uh, we're doing Christmas crafts and uh, yeah, starting to think about putting all this Thanksgiving away and getting my Christmas stuff up. But uh, yeah, we'll be getting our tree probably within the week sometime, hopefully. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm like physically tired. But in the middle of the night last night, we saw lights and fire trucks and cop cars and everything next door at my neighbor's house. It was 2.30 in the morning, so it like woke us up. We were like, I hope she's okay. She's 88 years old, you know? And I called her this morning. She said, we're okay, everything's okay. Somebody fell down the stairs, but everyone's okay or something. I don't, I don't know. It was just really strange to be, they, they were out there for like an hour and a half. Like, why would the cops be there? that long if somebody fell and was okay so it was a little strange so we were just like wow <laughs> so dark out here right out where we live and like to have three cop cars with their lights going and a fire truck and an ambulance and all that we were like what happened you know we were scared for her anyway that's what happened last night so i'm a little tired today and uh Enjoying having the kids home now, all of them together. Dale's been good. He's been pretty calm, a little fussy off and on, but overall good. I do have a nurse tomorrow, so I'll have a little bit of a respite. Uh, she'll be here eight to three, hopefully. And hopefully, hopefully, I just, just, yeah, it's like physically hard, all this. Lifting, changing, rolling transferring um, just like the physical manipulation part of it gets hard so. but anyway I'm gonna get a big glass of water and go get myself ready I just have to do a couple things here and then I say good night to Daniel we go to bed right pal this is winter wonderland scene up there see that we're getting ready for snow and christmas and santa and he's got his santa gnome sheets look at those sheets they're so cute you look fantastic your food is ready your balloons are still beautiful from your birthday last week yep they're right there those will probably last us all the way to new year's huh yeah those are some balloons Whoa, they're going to be right here next to you, okay? I'm going to keep them right there next to you. He wants them there. Okay? You like your balloons. Okay. Here's Sarah. Here she comes. What are you doing? We're going to go cuddle in bed because we're cold. Oh, okay. Okay, go cuddle. I'm with Sarah. We're going to the Cheesecake Factory. It's cold raining. I haven't been over here to the mall in a zillion years. Happy Monday. <laughs> Thanksgiving is over. Sarah got on the plane this morning. She's on her way back to California. And uh, it's been kind of quiet. Yeah, I'm tired today. It didn't. I didn't go back to sleep after I woke up at 4.30 to say goodbye to her, so I'm sleepy. I took Daniel to a doctor's appointment at 11.45. He went to see his dermatologist. Whoops, glasses falling off my face. He had to have two uh, biopsies taken from his back from some weird looking freckles. John has a history in his family of skin cancer, so uh, she she said they've changed too much. They just want to make sure everything's not not abnormal. Uh, but that was the first time Dale had a biopsy taken from his skin, and he didn't flinch. He did really well. So.
so then I came back here and then we had a zoom meeting with his uh, with the attorney for the probate court judge just like they have to speak to Daniel even though he doesn't speak it's just like to just to kind of get eyes on him and uh, basically we're we have a hearing on December 8th which is great because the hearing was scheduled so quickly um, I wasn't sure because a lot of people were telling me it was taking longer but that's great so we're going to change some things with our guardianship stuff just reassigning roles that's all nothing really changes um oh, we're getting some deliveries okay i think it's diaper delivery day anyway we we have a lot of things going on let me get the delivery here it's a big truck okay. it was just some supplies for my etsy shop uh speaking of which i have two orders and um a stitch fix return or returning all the stitch fix because I didn't like this time this times this this stitch fix box wasn't really what I liked so I'm sending it all back and I have two orders so I'm gonna run over to the post office it's 325 I don't think I'm gonna get my nap because uh, I'm sure John will be looking for dinner so I have to forego the nap when I get back I'm just uh, really, really tired and I don't really feel the greatest. Like I have a lot of body pain, but I'm trying to keep my mood happy and just uh, keep it mellow and easy going. I have a nurse today, so I'm grateful after all those days of no nurse and our weekend nurse went AWOL. So that was really disappointing. Like just not even called out sick, just disappeared, and uh, she was on the schedule. So I don't, I don't know what happened, but it was just frustrating because we had plans. But anyway, I feel like I talked about that too much. I'm trying to be positive. I'm tired. I have fog. Like fibro fog is when you have a little bit of a word recall thing. It's like things are slow, and that's really because I'm really tired. So I'm taking a ride over and I'll be back and I'll see what the rest of the evening entails. Daniel was sleeping when we had our call with the attorney. It only took five minutes to, not even, but we got him to wake up for a few minutes just so he could look at the guy on the Zoom call. And then he fell back asleep. Okay. Okay, so it's getting dark on Monday. I'm at the dog park. I stopped here to let them just have a good run because they hadn't been here and had good exercise. So that was fun. The dogs were nice. And uh, it was getting too cold, windy, burr. So now I'm heading home and I, it's 4.30, but it feels like it's eight o'clock at night even though it's not it's just so tired and cold and chilled uh, oh phone calls phone calls Arr. Henry Henry can you not shred that pasta box you're so fresh Henry Henry are you hungry you want a treat we we'll go to the dog park. We we'll go for a walk. Get a poop. What are you doing? What you doing? I'm playing Wordscape. Wordscaping. Good morning, doggies. Don't video. You're not in the screen. I'm in my underwear. You're not. You're not in the shot. I'm in my man panties. And I, we can't see your underwear. Hi, Henry. It's getting there. We did a little bit of work yesterday. Ah! Okay, let's go outside. Moved some chairs around. But we got a big mess over here. Look. Ah! But we're getting there. Let's go. 
It is the last day of December, of November. November 30th. Good morning, all my lovely friends out in the world. Just waking up. I slept like nine and a half hours and I needed it because my body was really hurting yesterday. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not having a really easy time recovering after Thanksgiving. Probably the <coughs> carrying of the boxes of Christmas up and down the stairs didn't really do me any favors. But today I'm gonna try to be nice to myself and um, get some things done without stressing my physical body. John's like, go to the pool. He's right, I should. I have therapy at 12, so maybe, maybe I'll get myself out of the house and uh, do that. Daniel had an appointment today at the dentist, but I rescheduled it because um, I also have an appointment for therapy. I don't know why I made it at the same time, but I always have therapy on Wednesdays. I think I'll probably have therapy forever at this rate. I've been doing therapy, psychotherapy for a very, very long time. I wish other people could do psychotherapy, or their own therapy, because it's very helpful and healing and purposeful and very, very good and gives me somebody to talk to. Well, actually listen with skill at what, what I want to say. Leave it to me to be out running errands in a middle of a terrible storm. I, uh, oh, look, now I get natural wave. How about that? I did dry it today. <laughs> I just went to TJ Maxx. See, TJ Maxx, the store. There was nobody in there. It was lovely. I went in there to look for a, um, a mattress pad for Daniel's bed. Uh, we had to throw out the, um, the foam pad that was on his bed. And they don't have any. Sometimes they do, but they didn't today. But of course it's Christmas, so why not look at everything they have? I picked up some really cute stocking stuffers for Sarah and John. And yeah, it's only November 30th, so uh, yeah, that makes me a little ahead of the game. But I have to go to CVS now um, to pick up Daniel's meds and ugh, it's nasty, nasty. But here I go. I went to the dump for Johnny and loaded the car, so I was like, okay, I'll go do the dump in the rain. Actually, I don't really care. I think it's kind of cool. It's very, very windy, and I'm kind of enjoying sometimes just getting out of my house is like, like a mental stimulation. Plus, I had therapy today, so I'm feeling a little empowered, and um, I'm not procrastinating. Not really. A little bit, maybe, but... All right, I gotta go. Drive in the rain, I'm soaked. I have my mother's old raincoat on. Love you, mom, in heaven. Okay. I go here all the time, so often, so many times. CBS, hello. I'm always here. Hoi.